for Waffle TV and we are here at Summer Hall today, Fringe Venue 26. So let's take a look inside. I'm Rebecca for Waffle TV and I'm with, here with Paul today, the curator of Summer Hall. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm very good actually. It's been a long haul but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> good, so please yeah. just tell us a little bit about the Summer Hall venue. Well, Summer Hall is quite a fantastic venture. It's the largest private art museum in Europe that uh, programs its own spaces. We've got 520 rooms, 130,000 square feet here. Half of the visual art in the Edinburgh Festival is in this building. And in addition to that, of course, there are the 50 shows that we've got on um, during the festival. We've got lots of other things, talks, uh, dance, films. I mean, the place is just phenomenal. So this summer hall is relatively new. This mm -hmm. is the second year? Yes, we only had one wing last year and we only showed a very small part. The university at the time still owned the building. Yeah. We've purchased it now and uh, we're turning it into an all-round, yeah, sorry, all-year-round art centre. Uh, we're so not really going away after this, we're staying. Yeah, have you found it's gone well this festival? It's been amazing. We think we've had 50,000 visitors so far and there's still a weekend oh, to go. Um, we've sold quite a considerable number of tickets. All of the shows are getting four and five star reviews. We have no show that is in any way consistently got below three stars. Um, the exhibitions have been reviewed well and I think everything's going very well. But it is a bit out of the way of what's considered mm -hmm. the kind of central kind of fringe area. Do you find that affects it at all? No, or? what's actually happened is we have this idea of a critical mass. There's so much to do here you can come and stay all day. I mean when we have that number of shows and we have that amount of visual art you can come and stay for four and five hours. And we've got a courtyard here where people are drinking till three o'clock every night. In the evenings we've got festival clubs, um, we have gigs here that are really quite popular. It's not a problem to drag people over the meadows. Yeah. And what's been your highlight so far? What's the best thing you've seen? I watched a piece called Small Narrations, which I thought was utterly stunning. It's been playing to small audiences and I can't understand why. It's one of the most cerebral and witty and intelligent pieces I've seen for a long time. It's about uh, a man's response to his grandfather being outed as a spy to the Polish Secret Service and how truth is not necessarily um, one-sided, that there is two sides to every story and he compares that with the writings of Wittgenstein. It's, it's quite intellectual but it was a, a tour de force performance by the, the actor and also last night I went to see The Shit and that was so one by huge billboard yeah, it's an amazing uh, piece of acting the writing is a stream of consciousness um, it's about a woman's angst that's something that happened to her in the past allied to the political situation in Italy and I was wowed by it visually in the visual arts um, I think we've we've Carly Schneeman whose installation here has been very popular David Michalek's figure studies is a substantial piece of work that will tour from here. We partially commissioned that piece and um, I also am rather proud of the Static State uh, exhibition on the ground floor which is nine Edinburgh guys who have created a Republic of Lad down there. It's witty, it's funny, it's a very strong exhibition and I'm really proud to have brought it here. Yeah, awesome, it's wonderful. Thank you very much. No, you're welcome. I've been Rebecca for Waffle TV. Stay tuned for more videos and interviews.
This has been Summer Hall. I hope you've enjoyed the visual arts and everything we've seen. Try and make it down if you can. Fringe Venue 26. I've been Rebecca for Waffle TV. Stay tuned for more videos and interviews.